say it. But needless to say it, needless to say it, could you imagine, as I said before, could you imagine uh, American athleticism? Could you imagine the speed of America? Could you imagine the precision of them? Could you imagine the way that the, the, the coaches prepared their games and prepared their teams? My God, what a sight there would be. What a sight to see, to see uh, a match uh, on the Gaelic line, yeah. lines. Wouldn't it be a wonderful thing? Uh, did you plan on going to Australia? Well, it was under program that we would travel out to Melbourne to play there, but uh, it will be interesting at the same time to see how John O'Donnell and the New York team will fare when they'll give exhibitions of the game in Melbourne, which I believe they're doing this year. Uh, back now on the home front, uh, John Joe, what game stands out in your memory? The germ, every game stands out well. They, they all have their own particular memories for Perhaps the 1924 All-Ireland, which was our first and which was Kerry's first after 10 years in the wilderness, was a, a game that should be remembered. You might remember that we played and beat Dublin on that day with the famous O'Toole, a wonderful club they were too, and that was a very pleasant game. But however, uh, the 26 uh, All-Ireland stands out stronger in my mind and maybe sweeter. You remember we had a drawn game with your own... If I am, and poor Jack Murphy, going any of the trucker air on him, uh, he played a Herculean game on that day. He saved us that day, and Bill Garman then, in the last dying minutes, brought along uh, the goal that equalised. I, I got a chance myself in the end, and my kick, fortunately or unfortunately, sailed wide at the post and gave us a chance of another day, which we won, as you remember, and we are All Ireland champs in 1926. That game is often enough and talked about in yes. Kerry. But John, what would be your hopes or ambitions for the game? Well, the thing that worries me about the game at the moment is that there are too many whistles and it's not flowing freely enough. I quite agree that whistles are necessary, but I think we're getting a little bit too refined. There should be a permission given for all. And let it be robust, if you call it so. That's not an excuse now for a play. But if we could cut out the meanness and have more sportsmanship, which we have and will have, I hope, then the game would flow. And is there anything better than a flowing good game? I had hopes that we'd have 13 a side where we'd have more open play and that we'd have four periods of 20 minutes each. Could you imagine the speed and the precision and the flying that would be up and down Croke Park with a game that time? Seven a side gives you a fair idea of that. Perhaps sometime it may be tried and uh, uh, you would never know what would come out of it. I had American in my mind for that particular yeah. period and too.